Hello there, let's dive into a quick comparison of two popular Markdown editors, Typora and Obsidian. Whether you're writing notes or building a knowledge base, we'll break down what each one offers and which is best for you. Let's dive in. First up, we have Typora. It's a sleek, distraction-free markdown editor with a live preview showing your formatted text as you type. It's perfect for writers who want a simple, beautiful interface. Typora supports customizable themes, latex for equations, and exports to formats like PDF and Word. It's cross-platform but lacks a mobile app and a native collaboration features. Typora strengths, a polished single document writing experience. Now, Obsidian. This is a markdown-based knowledge management tool designed for connecting ideas. It stores notes locally as a plain text, offering backlinks, a graph view for visual connections and robust plugin ecosystems, over 170 community plugins. It's great for researchers or anyone managing complex projects. Obsidian works offline, has a mobile app, but can feel clunky for simple writing and relies heavily on plugins for advanced features. So how do they stack up? Typora shines for straightforward writing with its clean real-time markdown rendering. It's ideal for drafting articles or academic papers, but lacks note linking or collaboration tools. Obsidian, on the other hand, is a powerhouse for organizing and linking notes perfect for knowledge bases or research. However, its editor isn't as smooth as Typora's and large note collections can slow it down. Which one's better? Well, if you're a writer focused on crafting polished documents, go with Typora. If you need a tool to organize and connect ideas across projects, Obsidian's your pick. Both use Markdown so you can use them together. That's it guys. Check out Typora for writing, Obsidian for knowledge management, or mix and match. Let us know your favorite in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.